Okay, so here we are on 18. Um, I have this bunker on the right that's really not in play for me today. The hole's a little into the wind. Uh, this can be reachable from back here, but probably not today with the wind in our face. So all I need is just a decent drive down there. It's going to be a three-shot hole anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two practice swings. And I'm just getting a feel for what it would feel like to throw this club down the fairway. I'm going to pick a spot. I'm going to pick a target just like one of the windows on the house there. I'm going to set it. Take a couple of looks and go. Okay, so here we are in the fairway. We've just hit our tee shot. We've got a pretty good breeze in our face today. So we're not going to be able to reach this green. This is normally reachable from here. But today it's just not going to happen. And what I see people do a lot on par fives is they try to hit the ball as far as they can on their second shot and sometimes get too close to the green or put themselves in a position where they can't get it up and down for a birdie. Uh, one of the things you'll notice about tour players that have great short games is the guys that have the greatest short games seem to miss the ball in the right spots a lot to where they can get it up and down. They don't have the really tricky short shots around the green. So what I'm going to do is I've chosen a club. I've chosen a five iron here that will put me hopefully in a, in a distance or at a distance that gives me a great chance to hit the ball in close and get the birdie. So I'm making my two practice swings here. I'm going to choose my target. And again, my mind is going out here. I'm not really thinking golf swing at all now because I'm kind of going on automatic pilot. I'm going to set the club, take a couple of looks, and it's all about throwing that golf club to the target. That should be perfect. That should give us the shot we want into the green. Okay, so here we are. We've laid it up to 90 yards on this par five. Again, we're, we're into the wind. We have a very stiff breeze in our face. And what I find is most amateurs don't factor in the wind like they should. Um, this is more wind than you think. Golf balls affected a lot by the wind, even a very small wind like this. It doesn't seem like it's blowing a lot, but it is. Um, so again, we've got 90 yards. It's slightly uphill. That's a factor most players don't play into it either. So I've got a little more than 90 yards between the wind and the uphill here. So I've chosen my 52 degree wedge that I can hit obviously much more than 90 yards, but I want to flight this in low. And by the way, if you've ever been to a tour event, tour players hit their longer clubs, let's say a, a four iron, five iron, they will hit it a lot higher than what most of you do, but they'll hit the wedges a lot lower than most of you. You want to flight these in low. So again, that comes from learning to throw the club. And if your eyes follow the ball, right off of the club, let your head go, don't keep your head down, you'll start flighting these wedges lower and spinning them. So I've made my two practice swings. I'm going to come in, set the club, set my feet, a couple of looks, just throw it to the target. Okay, it should be close. Okay, so we hit a good close wedge shot in here. And again, because I chose enough club, I have a great chance at a birdie here, even though it was a longer hole today, being into the wind. So always make sure you're flighting those wedges. I never want a student hitting, and I do this even with the tour players, I don't want them hitting full shot, full swing wedges at any time. Um, there's just no advantage to it. So again, here we are with the green reading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the lowest point. And I'm going to try to find the highest point on the cup, which is probably right here, which means that my ball is very close to that high point. Basically tells me this is almost a straight putt. Maybe break just a hair. But all in all, fairly straight. So I'm not going to play it out of the hole. And there's our birdie. It's pretty simple if you play the game. So you have to think your way around the golf course like that. There is some strategy to it, but it doesn't really matter your level of play. 
you'll really start scoring well if you understand how to hit these shots.